Hello, everyone. Well, I just went 15 minutes trying to pick this guy clockwise. And I got quite a few turns on the core, but I didn't get it open. So now I'm going to try counterclockwise. This is Leon Lockpad's Toy Story. And he doesn't have the key mummified or anything, but <clears throat> it's a pretty tough little lock. <clears throat> I must say. And it's late at night, and I may just go to sleep. I'm going to give it another little session here. And see if I get... I went pretty... I turned the car, core pretty far when I released it all, when I uh, stopped the video at 15 minutes on the last one. So. But that was clockwise. So This is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. Right. Getting nowhere rapidly. That's what I do. It's my thing. But yeah, I've got a SS Def D hook in here. And uh, I've got a little bit of turn. That's all I get out of this, man. I'll get a little bit of turn on the core. But I don't get it open. And I've got to use light tension on it. This is that one that's got the thin drivers or something. He said, just be careful. You don't want to break them. So I don't want to break them. So I've been using light tension. But it doesn't matter because it's not opening anyway. What tension you use. So I'll get clicks. So I'll just reach a point where you ain't getting any further. I'm getting tired too, so. Let me call it quits for the night. All right, got it. It was like way back there. It's very good. Thank you so much, Leon. Like I said, I just done a... I haven't picked it off camera, but I, I did a 15-minute video, and I got nowhere. I mean, I tried it, you know, clockwise. So, And I thought, well, let me try counterclockwise. And yes. So let me keep this guy in frame. But no, I don't have my... Uh, desk organized I don't even don't even have a penetrate out because I, I was getting tired and I was pretty sure I wasn't going to get this one tonight so let me rapidly whip out a pinning tray put this guy over here get my C clip removed if I can find it like I said, if anything, I've gotten less organized because I've been digging around. But Thank you, Leon. That was a very fun lock. I'm going to try to gut it without messing anything up. Uh, there is a key for it. First attempt on this. I need a little tiny screwdriver. I guess. Just pry this guy out. Oh, stop turning core. Nobody asked you to do that. There we go. Go out. Get over there. Stay. Move back over here where everybody can see you. Right, I gotta get a follower for that one. Let me see who's gonna be a good follower and what size. All those goodies. All right, we've got a cutout here. Where are the pins? Up there. So this guy looks a little bit. He may fit, but I still want a shim. Let's get our shims here. Yeah, I started off the morning with a pick of K1's locks, uh, um, challenge lock, and that was fun. And then I uh, took a rest and started doing laundry and stuff. And then I came back and I tried to pick. A Bill Bacardi lock, and I couldn't get into it <laughs> at all. Which, you know, it's a challenge lock, and 
It has a typical Bill Bacardi bidding, which is, oh, up and down, up and down. And I probably overset the crap out of them. Alright, let me turn the keys up here. I mean, the pins up so that we can get the proper orientation here. Line this guy. I think he's going to make it. We'll see what Mr. Leon has got hiding up in here. Alright. You sit down there and we'll get to you later. Oh, cool. Look at the. Every pin had to be picked. Um, he doesn't have any serrations. Let me get that little. Uh, well, we'll dump him out first. Do this in logical sequence here. Oh, look! I've been looking and looking and looking for this E clip that launched off that ace padlock, and there is him. I'll set him over there. I mean, I tore up the whole desk looking for him. I couldn't find him. I'll make sure everybody is in here in focus. Right. But I really am having a good time with the uh, challenge locks, man. It's so much fun. And not all of them, like I said, are are uh, going to be quick or easy, but that's the whole fun of it. All right. Over here will be pin one. No two is trying to come out. Pin one. Pin two. Oh, pin three is jumping out. And pin two is get your butt over there. Let's straighten those guys out. Try to get four. There we go. Five. It's only a five pin lock and a five pin core. So let me, uh, my tweezies. Where are my tweezies? There they are. Sorry. Just go straighten these guys out. Get out of their hair. Very long drivers. There's like one serration on the very end of some of these. All of them except for pin two is standard, but there's like a little single serration. Stop, stop arguing with everybody. Get over there. Quit being belligerent there. All right, I'll do that. I'll zoom in. And uh, I'm going to get that pick here. I really like these picks that Albert LaBelle sent me because they come in handy. You can use the tip of your pick, but this is multi-purpose and a lot better. All right. There's a little bit of uh, some gunk in this core. I'm going to clean that up and make it a little bit smoother when I put it back. But there's nothing done to the core down there. And it looks like we have standard pins. Let me get the shim out of the way. I think all the magic is up here. Get back. I tell you, this thing's fighting around here. It's... All right, let's try to get pin one. All right, sit you on top of him so he don't launch out. He launched out anyway. Put him over there. Nice little serrated pin with some kind of a some kind of residue on him. I don't know if he'll want me to clean that up. Maybe that's part of the Toy Story effect. Here's another one with some kind of. Rusty residue. It's a spool. We have a serrated and a spool. There's something weird going on with the coating on these pins. It's on all of them. Oops. That guy just dropped. There he is. Don't run away, pin three. I'll pull them out first and try to make sure I don't lose them. And then I'll show you. I believe he went in like that. Those pins may be made out of wood. That may be what's happening here. It's not a, a weird coating. They might be made out of wood. I think they are. <laughs> wood or, or, or plastic. I'm not going to yank all the springs out and nothing was done in the Bible but very um 
very interesting. Let me get this guy to zoom. There's see the springs are in there. They're a varying tension, but the, what's the main interest in this lock? And that's why he doesn't want you to use a lot of tension on them uh, because they're not steel. They're actually wood. Very cool. Let me find his. Uh, I don't know where his uh, key is. That show you the bidding. Sorry. Well, let me get over here and zoom in on the, the drivers. So, you know, the key pins are uh, standard, like I said, with just like one serration up on those. But here are the really interesting ones. First, I thought it was a coating, like rust. I just watched Matt's lock pit, <laughs> one about gallium on aluminum. I thought, man, we got some kind of corrosion going on here. But then they feel light, and they're basically, I think they're wood, which is very cool. Um, but you got a T-pin there, and uh, you have the various shapes, you know. And it, and it picks just like a, it, it's a kind of gummy on the core. And uh, so your natural tendency is to want to push you know harder on the pins to help move the core but you can't do that on these because you might break them but anyways that was very fun leon thank you so much for uh for making this lock and uh it was either albert labelle sent me this one kayla one locks or bill bacardi i got hit with them all at once oh yeah here's the uh sorry for bouncing around here too here's the uh Key. I don't want to mess up everything. Key and the bitting. Pin my own toy store. So there you go. That was a very fun pick. That was, uh, it was challenging. Like I said, I went 15 minutes trying to go clockwise and I couldn't get it. So thank you very much for watching and, uh, awesome, awesome walk. I'm having so much fun. Now I can go to sleep.